is what it's like now. So. Um, definitely ah. recovered from the army worm. Okay, so um, just a little video of a few things, a few issues that have come up um, since I got my grass. Uh, I joined what I call a Facebook uh, lawn nerds group to try and figure out um, how to problem solve some of these things. Um, I will put a picture up um, to show you one of the first things that happened uh, was actually army worm. I had no idea what was going on. Um, my grass looked a bit dry, so I watered it. Um, and then all of a sudden it started getting patchy and I thought it was from the dogs. Um, culprit number one and culprit number two over there. They do pee on the grass um, and if I don't get to it in time, it will actually burn the grass. So I thought, well, maybe it's that. Um, but it wasn't, it started growing um, quite rapidly. I think in a month's time, I'll put some photos up of the damage that happened. Um, within a month, it had just grown and it was all dead. It was dead in patches. Um, I thought maybe because I was establishing my lawn, I was watering it a bit. Some of the grass nerds were telling me, hey, you know, it could be uh, fungus. Um, and I thought, yeah, cool. So I went out and got this stuff. I can't pronounce it, Mancazeb or something like that. Um, and I sprayed that um, and then I watched it. I didn't water it. Um, I tried to dry it out as much as I could in case it was fungus. I couldn't see any fungus, um, but um, as you can see, it's quite a, a thick grass. And when you pull it apart, I thought, oh, is that fungus? You know, I just didn't, I just didn't know, but it wasn't fungus because the fungus killer didn't help at all. Uh, it got worse, it started growing, it started spreading um, and I watched a few other people somewhere else dealing with army worm and I thought oh could it be army worm so I did the test with the soap suds um, and nothing really happened so I didn't worry about that I thought still fungus um, next step was um, how about I just try the army worm stuff so I went and bought some I think it's called bug killer so it's a bio birefrum or something like that I'll put the name up um, on the screen and you attach it to your hose give it a spray and see what happens so I gave the yard a spray I went out to the front yard then and sprayed the front yard and by the time I'd come back to the backyard um, it was devastation it was like Armageddon of army worms um, I will put a video here right now um, just so you can see it so I was just absolutely amazed at how many of these little buggers are crawling out writhing around dying um, they were everywhere small ones big ones fat ones um, I gave up counting I filled up a bowl um, and I'll put a photo or you'll see a photo soon of, of the bowl that I filled up of army worms and that's just from my tiny area in my backyard so clearly they loved my grass it was quite um, they had a good little little munch on my grass and that I don't know maybe I can't remember how much it was from Bunnings but that definitely worked definitely killed them straight away um, there are products you can put down to try and prevent that um, which I didn't use because I'd already spent so much money um, but this summer I, I have put some granules down to try and prevent that to um, make sure and since then I have actually bought that spray anyway and I do a spray through those warmer months um, just maybe once a month if I can remember once every two months just in case um, because just in case I don't want my yard to be destroyed by those little bugs again so Another thing I did was uh, we have a local Maggie that I really enjoy having around. Um, he doesn't hurt us and he comes and has a chat with us every morning. And um, I didn't want him to eat the bugs in case, I don't know, the poison in the bugs somehow gets into the mozzie. Um, into the, um, sorry that was a bee. <laughs> a bee from my lavenders. Um, yeah, I didn't want the Maggie to eat the poison creatures um, so that then I'm not hurting the Maggie. So they all went in the freezer so they could die quicker. 
less, I don't know if it's more humane. Um, so they go to sleep and then I chuck them in the bin. So long story short, you can either put the granules down or you can spray through those summer months um, and just keep an eye out for your grass. So it just looked like it was drying out. Uh, you could barely tell a difference at the very beginning. Um, and there's no point treating the brown bits because they've moved on from those brown bits. They're now munching on your green bits. So um, if you're going to do the test, I think this is where I went wrong. I may have actually done my soap sud test on the patch that they had already worked through. Um, so it's a good idea to do that patch test in a few different areas because um, clearly I missed it the first time and I was treating fungus and it made the situation worse because they just kept going. Um, after I treated it, it did spring back okay, quick as it could with the zoysia grass. The zoysia grass does grow slower, um, so, um, but it came back. Um, you can see now, it's nice and healthy. We're getting ready for another summer, so we're going to try and prevent getting these things this year. Um, I'll try and put another few things up, uh, a video about nut grass, um, which is my constant enemy. Um, I might do another update of the mower, seeing as everyone loves watching <laughs> me mow the lawn uh, with that Ryobi um, battery powered cylinder mower. They don't make it anymore, so you can't buy it. Um, but I'm hoping in the future they do make another one that's a little bit more sturdy because it is quite good. Um, um, but yeah, if you like this stuff or you want to see more stuff, more issues that go on, um, leave a comment and I'll try to get a video of it. Um, but yeah, girls can like grass too. And I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with the grass. Um, there's one of the culprits that causes damage to the grass. Uh, they're quite cute so they, they run around and um, do their thing but I put up a fence to keep them out when I'm not here and that way I can hose in their wheeze or give it a hose and just reduce the burn not too much burn at the moment because I'm on top of it but when I went away um, we went camping for a few weeks and when I came back it was uh, lots of pea spots so that's another thing with the zoysia to be aware of so yeah, army worm. Oh my god, horrible disaster. Um, I'm just so glad that I found them, killed them, and they're gone. Um, so yeah. <laughs>